good morning to all we from chukri tradimix india private limited we appreciate uh, all the attendees who have come online sparing their valuable time to listen to mr sunil mistri mr sunil mistri is a concrete industry professional with a huge experience in mineral admixtures and minerals industry he is promoting various minerals for concrete paints construction chemicals etc various industries most importantly mr sunil mistri is an autodidact which means he is self taught actually as per autodidact is a greek word actually he is self taught man uh on various materials he has done lot of trials lot of experiments and uh, most importantly he is uh, man and brown he is not bookish actually he or whatever knowledge he has gained is through hard work and uh, making trials and mingling with uh, industry specialists and he has extensively traveled travel to many countries to promote uh, a um, lot of minerals including metal uh, we have we are fortunate from to admit to have uh, him on our uh, webinar uh, welcome you all thanks a lot and uh, i leave the uh, floor to mr selmisti uh, welcome sir thank you sir hello am i audible sir yeah okay so thank you very much mr kaushik thank you very much uh, mr kaushik for the yeah, yeah. warm introduction warm introduction for uh, that uh, yes uh, we uh, i represent 20 micros limited and uh, my company is almost uh, three decades old and uh, they work a specialty minerals and uh, develop and always uh, believe in uh, developing uh, the Uh, the product which can be you know uh, sustainable and which can be you know long lasting and always uh, the economical and uh, the basic thing is to use uh, local raw material actually and uh, we deal uh, many minerals in the industries uh, not only in the concrete we uh, deal into paint paper plastics and uh, ceramics and many more almost 27 28 application we do actually and uh, in today's uh, session uh, we are going to talk on uh, uh, the metacholin which is uh, the mineral admixtures uh, the first day i can first uh, starting i can say like it is uh, the specialty design the product uh, the before that uh, this uh, uh, would like to say uh, thank you very much for the team q grid uh, they started uh, well uh, right from the lockdown happened and uh, they come with uh, the, the the various various subjects uh, in every week they plan to come up with a new subject and uh, new things for the concrete industries uh, today is the 13th webinar and uh, uh, in this webinar we are going to talk on the uh, the metacholin uh, to understand how it is produced uh, how what the uh, important of uh, what parameters to be controlled during the production uh, not only the production and then after the what is the benefits are there and uh, it is uh, mineral admixtures one of the mineral admixtures uh, out of all uh, four five mentioned into is uh, uh, four five six so today we uh, going to talk on uh, the first part will be the introduction what is metacholinol how we produce this material the production and then uh, after production what the physical and the chemical properties are and what the parameters to be control actually to get a uh, sustainable and consistent uh, properties uh, we did some uh, experiment and the experiment is uh, going on and going on it is uh, uh, day to day activities basically uh, and uh, some of the advantages and the applications uh, for using this uh, in the lead mixtures in, into the system actually and uh, before we uh, go for the mineral admixtures uh, we have to understand this is the product is designed for uh, the high value concrete actually 
high value concrete generally associated with the high performance and uh, to get that uh, high performance and to design a high performance concrete uh, the, uh, we need to see like uh, or, or take care for uh, you know it should have like uh, the high strand high flexural strand and uh, the concrete should have uh, high chemical resistance also actually and uh, these are the typical things but uh, how to achieve this for that we have to use uh, many other minerals and all actually so to my next slide you can see here cement without cement generally concrete not cast actually there are other things is going to develop but it is going to take time actually metacholine is one of them uh, and flies and slag and silica fume and all actually that gives a cementaceous property as far as the two and additionally durability and uh, the high strength actually so the concrete can be cast but to get additional properties for the long lasting and for the durable concrete we need to add uh, specially designed or the mineral admixtures which is showing uh, into the screen and apart from the mineral admixtures there are other criteria that performance uh, of the concrete is support by the chemical admixtures to get uh, certain properties to uh, to reduce the water cement ratio uh, to retard the concrete or as and when required then to accelerate the concrete and then reduce the shrinkage and all actually there are many other parameters also there which can support uh, uh, this other uh, mineral and uh, the chemical admixtures and yes i can say that optimum gradation of the aggregate is also an important uh, things here to get the high value concrete actually to get improve to improve the uh, workability as well as uh, the paste control and all actually uh, i'm coming to the things like to get and to achieve uh, the certain properties for the high value concrete uh, and i can say like it's in the field of the concrete technology has seen a sea change in the past decades actually and uh, many limitations of the concretes are being conquered through this new invention and many inventions are going on uh, for getting uh, the desired properties of the concrete actually and metacholin is one of them in the family of mineral admixtures uh, to produce uh, the quality concrete and uh, one line i wanted to uh, uh, say in the forum like this material is uh, really a very good but it is always uh, seen like it is uh, underrated uh, mineral admixtures uh, so it is easily available uh, but uh, it is not uh, that popular but uh, in india yes that the many projects we did and it is slowly slowly it is uh, improving their footprint actually uh, you can see like how what is the metacholin like uh, you know it is not at all a by product it is not the product which is easily available and uh, you know it is a throwable things and can be used into a uh, certain uh, system and can get some benefits no the metacholin is uh, it's a kaolin uh, based material and uh, kaolin is uh, the white color uh, fine clay which is uh, generally used for the porcelain and many other applications basically it's a mine product and uh, meta stand denotes uh, the changes actually so v 20 microns or the metacholin manufacturers are changing the phase from kaolin to the meta stage of kaolin and metacholin is a fine and a refined kaolin that is uh, fired under carefully controlled temperature uh, to create an alu uh, amorphous uh, aluminosilicate and that is reactive in concrete actually so altogether we can say it's a totally a thermal treatment similar like a cement manufacturer where uh, the rotary kilns are there and then we have to control all the parameters right from the raw material to the uh, the finished product actually a uh, few grades are available like uh, the meta sam and meta plus depending on the properties uh, i can uh, explain uh, in a in a deep way like uh, how metacholin is being produced actually uh the different activities are mentioned on your left like a mining navigation refining heat removing drying and calcinations are there and the particle size controls are there metacholin first it's come from the mines uh, we have to select the right raw material when and then have to uh, convert into you know the water slurry like where uh, all the navigation uh, process take place we refine and uh, we remove the creeps 
almost uh, won't you believe 80 percent the clay comes from the mines 80 percent is non-usable actually only 20 or 15 percent is the material which is usable for designing a meta kaolin actually so that is a refined kaolin comes out through this uh, water process that slurry we pass through the cryogenic magnetic separator you can see in the screen like there is an orange uh, instrument on the top side uh, which works on minus 270 degree it is uh, you know it's remove all the paramagnetic impurities from the clay so uh, the clay comes from the mines we uh, remove the grease parts and all and whatever the impurities that cannot be you know removed by other means we have to pass through this chilling plant and uh, here we are using uh, helium gas and all to get uh, such a minus uh, temperature and uh, that slurry we pass through uh, this uh, uh, press and then convert into the lumps and again uh, convert uh, drying and uh, the powder comes out actually that powder is a pure kaolin a refined kaolin that kaolin powder we uh, do a thermal treatment uh, using rotary kiln where certain temperatures are controlled and uh, then the second day and the regrinding take place the moment it comes out uh, our quality people is working round the clock right from the raw material in continuation process also we check a lot of parameters to get a consistent material uh, at the end actually and uh, the next slide i'm showing this beta kaolin is yes that the moment beta kaolin produce this meta kaolin is uh, usable for the concrete especially for the high uh, strength concrete it replaced the cement in uh, 10 to 15 percent level uh, meta kaolin is uh, prepared by calcination what i explained at a temperature of uh, tentatively 600 to 900 temperature and it is really a very high pozzolanic properties among all the mineral admixtures available in the industries actually uh, it's aluminosilicate and it reacts with calcium hydroxide drastically and uh, it is uh, one of the byproduct of uh, the cement hydration all uh, aware about and uh, i can say like metacolin is uh, a, a lime hungry uh, pozzolana that reacts with the free lime uh, to form uh, a stable uh, insoluble and uh, the strength adding and cementaceous compound actually the the moment it comes out uh, these are uh, the properties which need to be uh, so the light here uh, it is having a white to creamy white uh, material so it is uh, suitable for some exposed concrete some aesthetic look concrete and many other things actually apart from the conventional concrete actually it is available and it is generally deal into the powder form uh, liquid also it is possible supplying into the slurry 50 to 60 percent of uh, the solid content but uh, metacolin doesn't require uh, to supply into the slurry because it is having a unique property of easy dispersed things the moment you put into the water it dissolve it disperses, not to dissolve uh, very easily you need not require a more stirring and additional stirring for uh, you know disperse the thing actually uh, it is having a fineness of 700 to 900 meter square per kg. Uh, specific gravity is almost uh, 2.5 to 2.4 uh, 2 to 2.5. And uh, you can see here the screen. Uh, the particle is uh, very fine of 1.5 to 2 microns. Uh, this particle size distribution we control in right from raw material in process and the after calcinus also we do set secondary grinding to get that consistent uh, particle size distribution and uh, the specific surface area is in between the 9 to 15 meters square per kg on your right side uh, uh, you can see this 96 is the total reactive compound in it actually so uh, it, it contributes like uh, uh, the silica is uh, 54 55 percent whereas uh, alumina is 40 to 42 percent actually so in total uh, this mineral admixtures metasam or metakeolin is containing 96 to 97 percent of the reactive compound in actually that's why uh, the literature says it is uh, the highest among reactive mineral admixtures uh, available in the industries 
Uh, Now it is audible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It is. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. There were some issue of uh, audio, but uh, I can. It is audible now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So I am just uh, explaining this is also. It's all kaolin is not a meta kaolin. Uh, I explain in a. A uh, few lines of uh, difference in between the kaolin and uh, the meta kaolin. Uh, you can see on the left hand side uh, the screen showing uh, electron micrograph of uh, the the untreated kaolin, though it is a refined one, and uh, uh, it is uh, showing some crystalline peak, whereas on the amorphous material doesn't have a crystalline peak. So this is uh, uh, the differentiated between uh, the kaolin and uh, the meta kaolin. Uh, as I explained. Like uh, metacaolin is having almost 96 to 97 percent of the reactive compound in in, uh, in combination of the, the meta uh, silica and uh, the alumina actually. So uh, the screen shows like metacaolin is having uh, the puzzling reactivity of more than 1,000. Uh, here uh, it's a source. Uh, there of uh, one uh, magazines are there and it is a chapel taste is there actually. Uh, these are uh, the R&D part and uh, the quality control is must right from uh, raw material to the finished goods. Uh, now this metacaolin is uh, 
you, you can follow the standards uh, india uh, is code is there uh, is 16354 is uh, published and uh, it is a dedicated uh, uh, specification for the metaculin for use into a cement cement mortar and the concrete even international standard is also uh, available uh, that you know actually that is a c618 and class n is there actually uh, here i try to put uh, the the screen of the first uh, page of uh, the standard 16354 uh, we can get it uh, easily from the net and uh, paying some from the bureau of Indian standard uh, that was the part of uh, how metaculin we produce and what uh, properties we control. The moment it uh, design uh, and uh, these are the things what I wanted to convey like metaculin modifies uh, the concrete properties uh, by a uh, few uh, you know uh, mechanisms. Uh, it is having the highest uh, reaction. Uh, so pozzolanic reactivity is the maximum in this one. Uh, it is uh, physical actions are there and uh, the poor water chemistry is uh, also uh, can be uh, seen here on the left hand side of the screen uh, on the upper side uh, you can see like uh, there is a paste uh, and when you add into uh, this uh, material into the system that the raw red dot is you can see the finer material is going to take place where the water has taken the place and uh, it filled the gap so uh, the concrete is uh, become much much denser and uh, by using uh, that uh, metaculin into the concrete system uh, uh, these are a few advantages uh, mentioned here uh, to get uh, performance concrete uh, we need uh, high strength and uh, high compressive strength and the flexural strength can be achieved and uh, that is a durable concrete can be possible uh, because uh, it's reduced uh, permeability drastically. Uh, uh, it is uh, giving the good efferences uh, control and uh, it uh, increases the chemical resistance uh, if we add into the concrete actually. It's inert material and uh, always there to protect uh, against the chemical uh, attack uh, from the concrete or the rebars in fact actually. It's reduce the chloride uh, migration. Uh, we're going to show uh, one taste we carried out uh, uh, using uh, different percentage of uh, metaculin in next slides. Uh, it increase uh, viscosity, yes, and uh, the control, uh, uh, the workability, and uh, the finishing is uh, very good of uh, this product. Uh, it helps to reduce uh, the effects of the alkali silica reaction, and it increases adhesion and shrinkage and uh, it is always available in a lighter color actually so uh, it shoots to the all type of uh, concretes of uh, white cement concrete uh, exposed concrete somewhere into the highway where uh, the dividers are being designed using a lighter grade of concrete so lighter color color is uh, the additional benefit here and uh, it always reduces uh, co2 emission uh, the produce only you know 100 to 150 kg of uh, carbon uh, whereas the other material uh, is consuming just if you bring the raw material from the longer distance uh, uh, the transportation itself is producing a more uh, emissions here whereas uh, metacule in indigenously India available so short distance you can get this actually the other thing is uh, the application uh, almost all type of concrete you can use uh, metaculin in for the high performance concrete uh, for high strength and high performance concrete i can say and uh, the other thing is uh, mass concreting generally you know heat of hydration is always a question there and we have to take all the cares by uh, uh, during the production of uh, this uh, this mass concreting things and uh, there are uh, literatures available and the trials is being conducted uh, by using uh, that uh, slag concrete and uh, fly ash concrete by using where sometimes strength is always an issue like actually if we add more uh, the low reactive low uh, fast reactive mineral admixtures where you can add one or two percent of uh, metacule in, in with the combination of uh, the fly ash and uh, the slag uh, you can get the right property of uh, especially a uh, uh, compressive strength and durable expect and uh, can uh, control the heat of hydration also 
and uh, it is always uh, advisable to use with uh, the lightweight uh, concrete and uh, marine concrete due to its uh, the chloride and uh, permeability reduction uh, possible here so marine concrete is always advisable here uh, many other concrete i mentioned uh, the last i can say the geopolymer is uh, the coming up and uh, we have seen uh, addition of uh, 5 to 7% of the metacaolin is give excellent result of into the geopolymer concrete and uh, there are mortars also there are grouts also everywhere the metacaolin is the suitable for the various uh, concrete application actually and uh, indigenously available and produced in india using local raw material so we need not to bring any material from uh, the other country actually so that's what i wanted to convey uh, for uh, the availability of metacaolin very easily here presently this is available on the western part of india but uh, the raw material itself is available all across the india uh, according to the bureau of indian uh, mines and uh, data uh, presently mm, the raw material availability of this kaolin is uh, almost 2400 million tons are available the moment it uh, established the awareness and uh, the consumption increase so the industry come out and uh, the production capacity is also can be increased uh, the many players can come here to product for the production from all across the india and, uh, we did some uh, experiment uh, especially conducted some trials uh, uh, in a various uh, mixes of uh, metacaolin with other uh, mineral admixtures reduction of the cement increase of uh, other uh, prop, uh, other uh, you know the secondary uh, uh, cementitious products and all so you can see here these are uh, some of the mixes mentioned uh, uh, in the name of mix a b c and d we conducted this trial uh, at the project site uh, we did some uh, combination of uh, you know uh, the first is you can see here uh, it is uh, only a 390 kg of cement with uh, only metacaolin is added here and uh, uh, we kept uh, water cement ratio in little bit on the higher side of 0.33 and uh, we uh, get a result of uh, on a 28 days is uh, 84 mpa is possible uh you can see the slump part also and where we added this uh, pc admixture of a 3.95 of 4 kg here and uh, into a second uh, mixes uh, where uh, we kept a water cement ratio of a 2.4 and use a cement of a 410 it's a uh, with the flow concrete with the flyers of 160 and uh, 30 kg of uh, metacaolin we added here Uh, we control uh, uh, the the flow of uh, this concrete of uh, 500 550 uh, which is uh, achievable uh, by using the 5 kg of uh, pc admixture 4.92 rather and uh, on a strength part if we see like on a third day we achieve uh, 46 47 mpa and on 28 days uh, it is uh, more than a 70 73 is uh, achievable uh the further we tried one more mix with the 0.22 uh, water cement ratio and, uh, and the cement content is uh, 420 uh, with the fly ash and uh, metacaolin is uh, 30 uh, here also see uh, the flow is uh, possible to uh, achieve on 650 and uh, the strength part here we kept cubes for a longer time and uh, for a 45 days or for a, uh, even a 90 days also we uh, are in group planning for but on a 45 days uh, we achieve a 96 plus uh, uh, strength and on a 28 days it is 83 uh, of mpa is achievable by using 420 kg cement with the 30 kg metacaolin and 120 140 kg of fly ash and uh, you can see the the mix d also it is giving a good flow of almost 700 the mix is uh, 450 150 and uh, the 40 kg of uh, uh, metacaolin we added here and uh, the strength part is crossing almost 100 mpa concrete is possible to design 
using such kind of a mix actually with metacurin. Uh, I tried uh, even the, during the experiment, we tried uh, keeping uh, the comparison in between the available other mineral admixtures and uh, this metacurin. <coughs> that uh, the cement here we kept off for 470 and uh, 130 kg of uh, pliage and uh, we use 60 kg of metacurin, little bit on the higher side. Uh, it was uh, designed using uh, for the crusted sand here and uh, the flow is uh, 550, 590 is achievable. Uh, you can see the difference in between like the consumption of admixture is also a little bit less compared to the other mineral admixtures uh, comparable and uh, the flow part is also uh, accepted as well as uh, the strength part it is achievable on the third day it is more than a 50 it is possible whereas on a 28 days uh, 91 plus uh, compressive strength is achievable against 89.890 uh, of uh, the analog product actually so this is uh, the difference uh, and uh, not only this mix design we did a lot of trial the second series you can see here uh, this is the straight away comparison i have not mentioned here the aggregates part and all just wanted to convey that the at par result, especially for the compressive uh, strength. Uh, you can see here, uh, keeping the water, one trial, we did a uh, water cement ratio on a higher side of 0.4. The second, we did a trial uh, capping, keeping the water cement ratio of 0.33 and the cement content of uh, 450. And uh, see the results. Uh, the more than a 70 grade concrete is uh, achievable here. Uh, on a 28 days result, you can see like a 75 to 78, and it is a comparison in between uh, the metacurin and the silica fuel. Uh, the other, uh, the third one is uh, here we conducted trial and we have seen, uh, we evaluated for the RCPD taste also, and uh, using uh, 50 kg of metacurin. Uh, you can we can achieve uh, the strength is yes the first criteria of 80 84 is 82 84 is achievable in both the concrete whereas the metacurin is showing uh, 320 columns and the permeability is 40 and strength part is also see the comparatively it is a little bit on a higher side compared to the analog mineral admixtures and uh, on a seven day uh, strength is further higher of almost uh, five to six mba so these are the mix comparison between the analog uh, mineral admixtures available in the market. The third part I can uh, explain you in a, that this is the third series what uh, we conducted some trials. Here we check all the parameters uh, uh, right from controlling uh, the flow, controlling uh, the water cement ratio, uh, keeping uh, the cement of 450 constant for all three. Uh, we added fly ash in two and uh, in a consistent level, we added 50 kg of uh, metacaolin here. Uh, uh, you can see here, the we use a PC-based admixtures uh, where uh, uh, trial A, we added a 5.5. Trial B, we have added uh, 7.15 uh, and uh, trial C, that is uh, required where the, we have not added the fly as here, only metacaolin and uh, the cement uh, is mixed here. And uh, you can see uh, the um, OPD and uh, the PD comparison, it is uh, whatever we targeted and we achieve actually, and the, the size, uh, the, the weight. And uh, the compressive strength, if we talk about on a third day, we achieve uh, uh, 50 MPA. Uh, the second is the 48, uh, 49. And uh, the third one, without addition of the flies, it is uh, giving a very good uh, 57 plus MPA comp uh, strength is achievable on a third day. As well as on a 28 days, if we see like, uh, the strength of uh, this uh, mix A is 84, 85 is uh, you can see here. Uh, mix with uh, 450, 150 kg with addition of more uh, this thing. Uh, the strength is possible to achieve 87 on 28 days. Uh, and mix C without addition of any other uh, 
things except uh, metacolin and uh, cement uh, 83 mpa is achievable so this was uh, the few taste uh, uh, the, the, uh, mixed designs uh, uh, we presented here and uh, this is uh, the question always come what is uh, ideal doses because somewhere uh, you can see somewhere we added a 50 somewhere it is we added only 26 kg somewhere it is uh, like you know five percent seven percent ten percent and like what actually so we conducted one trial uh, in a consistency of not to add any other things keeping water cement ratio constant for uh, m60 grade of concrete and uh, cement we kept uh, 450 in a control concrete whereas we replace uh, cement by 7.5 percent the next design uh, mix we uh, kept uh, the cement reduction ratio of 10 and then the 12.5. Uh, you can see here uh, the control mix is having a 450 kg cement whereas uh, replacement of cement, uh, cement uh, by 7.5 uh, that is a 33.75 kg we added metacolin and we reduce cement to 460. Then the next is uh, 405 with uh, 45 kg and uh, the the last one is uh, the 394 with 56 kg of metacolin. The idea behind this is to optimize uh, the, the doses actually. What is the right uh, doses of uh, such mineral admixtures here? Uh, we kept slump in uh, control just to you know pour the, the cubes and all. Uh, chemical admixtures we play. The fines increase little bit of adimer. Uh, chemical admixtures is uh, varied here right from the point A to 1.3. And uh, if you uh, compare uh, the result, as far as the compressive strength is concerned, M60 grade control concrete, we achieve 23.6 MPa on a day one. Whereas uh, by replacing uh, cement by 7.5%, it is giving 28.8, it increased by 5 MPa. And by replacement of a cement a uh, little bit more, by 10%, it gives a 27.2, and uh, by 12.5, it increased to. Uh, this is the first day, uh, the result, uh, and on 28 days, if we see like uh, the 28 day strength of control concrete is 58.8, whereas uh, uh, the 7.5 replacement uh, took place here, and then the strength is achieved by 64.5, and uh, you can see here on a 12.5 replacement, the strength is reduced compared to the, the percentage replacement of 10%, 68.9. So uh, as far as strength is concerned, we can conclude that way, like uh, 7 to 10% is the ideal doses, 8 to 10% rather. So in between 7 to 10% is the ideal doses as far as uh, to get the uh, good compressive strength, consistent compressive strength. So we need not to add more quantity also uh, until uh, it's required uh, for the special purpose of a marine concrete or where the environment is much, much higher, where we can compromise a little bit of a strength and but the durability is more important or a chemical uh, attack uh, to be more uh, taken care of here. Uh, next, you can see the flexural strength is also increasing in uh, increasing uh, the moment is replaced and little bit decrease into the 12.5% replacement of the cement. Modulus of elasticity is also we measure right from control into 42,700 to increase uh, to 54 into a 10%. And uh, the last is uh, for uh, the chloride uh, iron penetration, the uh, RCPT test is also carried out. And in control, it was showing 1,800 columns. Uh, and uh, we achieved the uh, by replacing 7.5%, uh, 10%, and 12.5%, uh, it's reduced to 380, 317, and 267. So, more the metacolin can give you uh, a more uh, chemical attack and low permeable concrete is possible, but a little bit uh, strength is uh, less compared to the 7 to 8, 7 to 10% of the concrete. And uh, here I show like uh, less than a thousand is always a very good, uh, very low permeable concrete can be achieved by using metacuri. Uh, we supplied this uh, product to uh, many industries also. 
uh, many of the raw material uh, ready mix concrete uh, the producers uh, are constantly using right from beginning so i am unable to uh, explain or uh, the present data as far as the ready mix uh, uh, companies are using my product but uh, we supplied uh, into a few project and a few of uh, not covered here actually just only a few i wanted to say this is a one project where the Polas Royale, where they use meta kaolin M60 and M80 grade concrete is the structure is already stand there uh, into uh, Mumbai. Uh, they use uh, meta kaolin here. Uh, the next lot opposite to that is Lokanwala building is also they use for this meta kaolin in Mumbai. Uh, the next uh, I can uh, this is uh, not our meta kaolin actually it's a uh, BASF card C. Uh, this is, uh, I put a picture here, uh, wanted to convey uh, that this is being used with the white cement, white Portland cement and uh, casting uh, a good concrete, high strength concrete with the white cement is always a challenge, what they have mentioned there in US actually. And uh, this 426 meter uh, height, uh, 90 story building, they use uh, white concrete using uh, white metacaolic here and uh, you can refer on the net also. Uh, many details are available for almost all the project it is available actually. Uh, these are uh, the infrastructure projects completed for and open for the traffic. Uh, the project is completed 2.3 kilometer bridge of uh, California Department of Transporter completed with meta kaolin here. And uh, the next project is uh, where uh, the foundation they use meta kaolin here uh, in the San Francisco. Uh, they they the, the project is also open for the public here and uh, uh, that was uh, from uh, the project and the process and the applications and uh, other things uh, uh, though it uh, we believe uh, into you know uh, the sustainability and uh, i would like to convey one uh, word for uh, for all of our uh, community for see we are uh, the only people uh, we are the only architects of uh, the sustainable future actually and uh, to get uh, all sustainable things uh, for our uh, generations uh, as far as when we cast a concrete uh, we have to keep in mind like for the durability of the concrete should be the most uh, priority uh, though it is already taken care and uh, uh, here uh, the consumption of uh, you know uh, the durability uh, less cement is always better for uh, the good durability, uh, I can say like the less cement is the basic criteria here. So uh, can try replacing uh, more uh, cement by addition of uh, the different admixtures and different uh, additives so that we can reduce the consumption of cement. And uh, it is a known fact that the cement is the major contributor to the greenhouse gases. <clears throat> And uh, we have to see for the alternative materials here, like a fly ash and slacks. And uh, there is always, uh, you know, the limitation of getting some strength issue and other uh, properties, suppose, then uh, the metaculin helps here to achieve the desired properties. Uh, the general properties is the one and uh, the sustainability is in particular, actually. So uh, I believe uh, that uh, this uh, metaculin supports here for, uh, achieving the sustainable uh, properties into the concrete and uh, uh, we all uh, know that uh, like uh, extraction or like uh, using a more natural uh, aggregates is uh, no longer uh, uh, sustainable things basically because concrete industries uh, cannot be uh, using uh, this aggregate is uh, uh, cannot be a sustainable in a no, uh, in a longer run actually. So we have to think for uh, the more the material use into like you know the recycle aggregates or the crust blocks and uh, any other uh, material which is uh, and that should be our priority. And here also we may have to face some uh, specific issue of getting certain properties where by adding this additives we can uh, you know compensate that. Uh, or can achieve the performance, uh, the desired performance. The one thing also uh, uh, can be think upon like uh, lightweight aggregates also. So can be that that lightweight aggregate is uh, produced by using uh, the waste products available in the industries. Means 
to reduce the natural aggregates and use um, the other available uh, materials so that we can uh, you know reduce our uh, natural resources to be consumed more and uh, the whatever wastage are available which can be used for uh, the betterment of uh, our future and uh, this uh, the one uh, more thing geopolymer concrete is also another options uh, here for a sustainable move and uh, metacolin always give there and uh, this can replace a conventional concrete also so altogether the reduction of uh, the carbon emission is uh, possible by accepting uh, such kind of uh, available things uh, in industries and uh, our academic sense the engineers are always uh, uh, there to think on and and uh, uh, this is the things what i wanted to um, convey for uh, the sustainable future we also believe in using uh, you know the the material in a such a way so that it can give a longer lasting life of uh, the finished products uh, not only in the concrete b20 microns believe for the other product also to keep in uh, this in a mind for the future so that's what's from uh, my side uh, thank you very much i wanted to say uh, first uh, the cupreet the second uh, they call us over here and uh, that that uh, and uh, all the attendees they uh, spare time uh, the crucial time for hearing us uh, for this uh, meta queuing uh, you can uh, reach us uh, on our email ids uh, you can uh, immediately reach to uh, mr kausika also on uh, qcrit uh, india and uh, you can uh, take a note for this uh, uh, details uh, and i am closing my uh, presentation now thank you And if uh, there is any uh, clarifications is required yes uh, uh, we can discuss upon this forum hello yes shelly sir good afternoon hello yes yes please any questions there hello yeah good afternoon friends uh, we have come on the use of microcapillin in high performance concrete it covered how the microcapillin is manufactured and it's used in concrete for producing uh, high strength durable concrete actually thank you sunil for your excellent and knowledgeable presentation uh, your wide thank experience you. uh, in metoclean has given a good insight in the above material actually which at present i feel that uh, it is being used very less in the construction mostly mainly may, maybe the awareness is very less uh, about this very good excellent indigenous material which we have in india actually in india so, Now, uh, yeah, I feel with uh, today's uh, program, a lot of professionals will get an insight into the the good material and also how it is being used. You have discussed your various uh, mixed designs uh, options, uh, how it is comparable with uh, the current material which is being used, actually, and also how it has been used in various projects in India itself to produce excellent, beautiful structures. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. i thank all Absolutely. the participants uh, who had spared valuable time even though it being the first day of the week to attend our yeah, qubit well. webinar actually uh, thank you very much i am shelly fernandez signing off uh, till next saturday to come with you, to rejoin you with a new topic thank you very much sir. thank you very much thank you to you all thank you thanks thanks a lot again uh, mr um uh, uh, for your beautiful lecture uh, and uh, thanks uh, to mr shalipa landis our md of the company for encouraging us to do week after week 
and thanks again uh, mr uh, sunil mistri sir thank you uh, thanks for any giving questions me you can to present yeah if there is a question we can discuss upon or questions can be sent to the email id is given actually we will answer and mr sunil mistri also will answer yeah definitely thank you very much. Thank you.